Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna start a new project and this project will be a scoreboard. There's a volleyball club that I am playing in, in social and basically they require a scoreboard and this is gonna take a while. It is a big project I have to say. It will, it will be involving uh, painting, soldering, programming, cutting the wood, I'm gonna make it from wood. Yeah, there are, there are, there are lots of uh, process to this. And the code I will be sharing in the channel, you will see um, down in the description. I will probably make a list of what I will be using as well. So I will put everything in the description basically, and, and the code as well. And hopefully you will like it. So let's get started. Okay. Um... The laser cut is done, so here is the progress. As you can see, it actually has a very nice cut, to be fair. What I'm gonna be doing is, um, I made this design already. So this is the front part of the scoreboard, right? I need an inside part as well. So basically, um, this part will have two parts. I already designed it and this will have a thickness imagine this is like a box so it will like a one centimeter behind this or not even maybe one centimeter it doesn't have to be one centimeter uh, behind this will be exactly the same thing and leads will go inside of the other one and this will be framed so the, the light will not go actually to the others if that makes sense so it will be only in the in the specific lights basically in segments so now what I was thinking is originally is once I cut these, so I cut this one, I'm going to cut another one. I was thinking to 3D print some pieces between these segments to make a barrier between each segment. However, I was thinking like any other ideas basically. And I just realized I have tons of these. These are just extra materials, you know, just they, I'm normally supposed to be chunking this. However, why not use these instead putting them inside as a frame you know like this like this this could actually solve a lot of problem all i need is cutting this half because i don't need this thick and then just glue them them like together everywhere like this and i will have plenty of these because this is one and i will be cutting another one so this is, I think this is a better option and at least I'm not going to be wasting these as well. So it's a safe process. I think I like this idea a lot. So I will be doing this hopefully. If this doesn't work, I might do something else. We'll see. Uh, but at least this is, this is it. So let's get started. As you see, it worked. Um, so I will be keep applying this. I don't want to record everything because you'll get bored. So let's continue doing this until all is finished. Jumping to the electronic bits. And to do that, I will be using this foam. This will be behind the fit and I will glue, hot glue or super glue the, the leads to here. And then I will start soldering. So um, let's get started and start soldering. see <laughs> I have to take it off um, it's pretty strong I have to say this tactic worked so I'm gonna be gluing these to, to that with hot glue the important bit is the arrows the arrows in there has to match 
and the, the, the way I code this basically has to go this way like that and then go down and then like that basically but go up and then go like that basically so um, I need to reorganize this somehow and glue it basically uh, this bit I'm not 100% sure how am I gonna do but um, at least hot glue works finished with the electronics you saw already i made some soldering uh, i didn't obviously uh, show all the progress because it takes a lot of time uh, but i want to show you what i've done basically here you can see and i actually fit, like did all the numbers now and um, which take around six seven hours to complete in total uh, i just wanted to explain this very shortly so i just connected all the uh, leads together of course and uh, and then i made some holes you can see over here um, which i connected these two systems together and then divide them to look at data power ground and the five volt which i marked them in here you can see all i'm going to be doing is i'm going to glue this to this eventually at some point like this and obviously the, i have to glue it very tightly because uh, if i cannot glue it correctly uh, the light will be in the other segments as well, which is the pro which is a problem, of course. So I need to be very careful about that. But I'm not gonna be doing this today. So I will paint this. This is how it will be looking, and then I will spray paint this to black. Let's get started. Today I'm back in Manchester Hex space and I have some progress today finally. You can see over here, this is dried and these are also dried, you can see. Looks pretty nice actually, I love it so far. Now I change a little bit of my strategy. Firstly, um, these, you can see because I cut these obviously with <laughs> Obviously, with Dremel, there's a thickness in there, which is bothering you, of course. So what am I gonna am I gonna do? Is I'm gonna fill this with a filler and then paint again. Hopefully, it should be okay. It's not very um, big problem, but it's bothering me, and that needs fixing. Second, now I obviously started gluing these, right? However, there are more gluing in these, like each each of these. Each of these area has to be obviously sealed up, so the the, paint, the color of these underneath the lights can go up without bleeding to others. Now, the problem is if I fill these now, I won't be able to put the electronics part inside correctly. This one. So this will be like this, right? This is how it is going to be. Like, however, obviously because these are still staying up actually you can actually even see this is not sitting perfectly done so when the when this light is on it will bleed to others so we will be not seeing correct numbers in there because of that before it's too late i'm gonna glue this with hot glue to there um somehow i'll try my best to to make it match hopefully it should uh, it should work um i don't know if it doesn't i don't i don't have any other opinion at the moment so we'll see what this is going to be let's get started
Okay, good news is I finished all the pieces. These are all gone now. Um, you can see over here, I glued them. This takes forever, I have to say. And um, this also is kind of half done. This will need more work. So I basically cut more. But um, everything is going good. Uh, the only different thing is, so I basically this is what I end up with. You've seen it. Woo! That was a good catch. Damn. Anyway, um, so this I made it with hot glue. Now there's a problem with this, obviously. Um, it is so messy. And I don't know if these middle sections are gonna hold it very strongly or not. And, uh, and it's making me spend way too much hot glue. Um, what, I, what did I do instead? So I, I made this one, this is finished. And I will test it later on if, it's, if it looks good or not. And I will be doing this with, I, I basically bought silicone, uh, which is apparently is like an industrial silicone uh, black. And it dries in like three hours, four hours kind of thing. So I'm gonna be applying that to this side and then just squeeze and then leave it like that basically until it dries. And if it's, once it's dry, perfectly done, uh, it's gonna take a while. Um, that's why I'm just doing these connections to make the eight together like this. Um, hopefully uh, the result will be good. So let's get going. Here's some updates and um, sorry about the background noise if there is any. Um, so these are obviously you knew it's ready. I bought this now, the silicone. So I will try my first with this one. Uh, if this works, you know, okay, then I will apply it to the rest of it. Uh, except the first one, of course, because first one we, as you know, did with hot glue gun. Um, while it looks so messy, it actually looks okay as well. I think it will work. So let's get going. Okay, this silicone works apparently. I think it looks very pretty nice as well. So I will continue with the process. Um, these are the next. So I'm gonna glue these with silicone and then I will start sanding down the board. I might actually change that board completely because I actually don't like that gap in there. And I think it didn't feel it pretty good because it's very thin. We'll see what's going to happen, I guess. Um, but everything is working, so let's continue. finally you can see um, now the next thing is to clean the segments I don't know if you can see it but yeah you can see that that part is not perfectly triangled because the support underneath is thick what I'm going to do is 
use some dremels to shave those so it can be ha you know having perfectly aligned segments basically and then you'll see what i'm gonna be doing next right so this is finished however this is the result you can see the edges are kind of destroyed so what i'm gonna do is laser cut another board same shape i'm gonna overlay it and this will fix it so let's get going Okay, this might have it <laughs> sounds excessive, but I actually laser cut some circles to make my button places. Uh, here, I marked them, you can see over there. Um, I'm just gonna make some holes in them. So there will be buttons for the, you know, teams and score all that stuff. And eventually, I have another MDF that I'm gonna be cutting basically this shape, but thicker obviously, and it, it will sit on, into that part. And I will put the button behind underneath of it so when you press it it's basically you're pressing the button but it will look better so yeah let's keep going okay now it's time to glue these to that um i'm not gonna use too much glue um so i'm gonna ignite it doesn't spread but it has to obviously not uh, it shouldn't let the le uh, let the light leak so that's the main purpose of the today. This one is that. Possibly. Is, yeah, it seems like it's this one actually. Because of the... Yeah, let's try it like this as well. Maybe there is a perfect match. Yeah, maybe the perfect, really. This is better than that one because I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one instead. Let's start. This is this is drying now, and I was basically thinking to maybe to glue these to the sides. Now that there is slight problem. It's not a problem. It's 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 a little bit basically needs work on it. Uh, I need to sand this down a little, tiny bit from the top and sides. Now when I cut this, actually, I actually had some extra bits because I, I I don't know why I did that. Um, um, so because of that reason. I have extra bits, so I need to sand this down to glue it. And I have lots of extra over here that's I like it's gonna dry in four or five hours. So I can use them. Uh, because of that reason I next I'm gonna actually shave these and then come back here and glue it basically. So let's start.
some holes over here. I destroyed that one. I'm probably going to sand this over and then fill it up with something and it's not going to be very visible. This is going to be all going to be painted anyway, but the buttons areas are ready. So now I'm going to make the channels in, in the in one of the servers. I don't know which area I'm going to be making either that side or that side, but um, that's the next. Okay, I made the kennels. It's very nice. All of them is the same now. You can see it over here as well. You saw me already making this channel. Um, now, time to chop the panels. a problem as you see it is cracked because this is MDF it's not very strong apparently so I decided to glue these so I'm gonna glue I'm gonna put some glue on layers and hope for the best if it works good if it doesn't I'm gonna probably purchase a solid wood rather than an MDF and redo it so let's get going are done all of them next is putting these bits um, I kind of have a problem with them but um, hopefully these slots will work basically so let's start doing it Okay, um, I have some wood over here, which I cut to the size. I will be cutting more. To be able to cut to the correct size, I am basically gonna measure with these. Um, what I'm planning to do with these is gonna be support inside, like these. Uh, in the back side mostly. So I'm gonna be gluing and probably screwing this like this. Like that. And then it will be covering the hole. Like this. Like this and it will be covering as a rectangle, you know, the whole frame basically. So I just need to measure it correctly and then cut it. Well, while they are drying, and it's gonna take a while, I'm thinking to make this, uh, basically this is Arduino underneath and the top is uh, just a board basically, empty board. I will be just connecting these, some of them together so if I need multiple branches of that, I can easily connect them. At least that's the idea. Um, I will try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, it doesn't really matter to be fair. Uh, I believe this should do. Let's go. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't have enough ground in Arduino. So you can see over here, this is ground. There is two more here, but that's it. And to be fair, this has this bit, which is ground, these six of them, but it's still not enough. I need plenty of them. So I'm connecting them together and all of them will react 
or behave as ground and then I will do the same thing for the five pots because there is only one here probably another one maybe but that's about it and in here I can actually have like you can see four or five of them uh, but that's still not enough I will create more that's what I'm doing okay um, now what I'm going to be doing is to use these trebles, trebles, these pieces to put into the corner of these so it's gonna be like two here and I'm gonna screw with another with another one in the middle so two up there and one in the middle in the middle one is obviously gonna be screw uh, so I need to dr drill this and it's a critical point of course um, hopefully I won't make any mistake if I do I'm screwed so wish me luck since I was here last time. Today what we're gonna do is put some code into the light. So I think I'm just gonna light one of these up and test it. I'll connect the button as well. So this is for basically testing the code. So let's get going. Okay, as you see, I connected my 5V to the 5V for now. I went to the board. Later on, I will do something different. I need to connect this still. This is ground. Ground will be on the ground, which is over here. There we go. And the button is connected to, to pin 8 because that's how I programmed it. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to upload the code to there and then I'll turn this over of course and then see if this is increasing the numbers as it's as it's intended. Okay, now I'm uploading actually the code. It's still pulling, pushing it. You can see the lights are on. Still compiling. At the moment, there's no need that it wouldn't work, but you never know, I guess. Yep, you can see the flashing light. That means it actually got it thingy. Now I need to turn it over, obviously, and see if it is working. Okay, as you see, my code is working and the light is working. So this is the beginning part, of course, it is showing zero, zero. So if I press the button somehow, it become one. Press again, two, press again, three, press again, four, and it goes on like this very quickly, of course. It needs more work. I still need to edit the code a bit so it doesn't like it does properly, it doesn't jump. Uh, but other than that, I think it looks awesome. Yes, we made it. Um, I guess this is the most difficult part and it is working. Okay, now we know that it is working. Next thing is, I think um, instead of writing the code because it's already there, at least partially, I actually will start doing shaving that wood and make start making a door and then glue that because we need that so let's start this will be the energy plug uh, where we will be connecting to the energy so normally i was thinking like this basically uh, maybe in the button part of course like this something like this however there is a problem with this multiple problems first this is mdf it's not very strong i don't want to destroy multiple I, I don't want to open more holes in this basically uh other than if i don't have to you know if i have to i will but if i don't then i want to leave it as is that's why i'm thinking to carve an empty space on this something like like that and the bottom part of course so this can provide and then you can just plug it in i also have different idea um i had this before from my previous projects, I was thinking to make a lightsaber with this, but 
this is too big this was too big so i am thinking maybe i can connect this to that source as well like maybe like this you know and then somebody just press it to give the energy after they plug the cable so this actually can be the main key to give the energy to the whole electronics start with these buttons I'm gonna cut them uh, because as you can see over here it's a bit too high up. I'm gonna cut these up to the size and then this is the thickness of the um, rather cover on top of this I'm gonna be adding uh, I will laser cut that this is just giving an idea of thickness like this um, so I'm also gonna make a hole in this so the button actually will sit inside of that uh, at least that's the idea, so we'll see. Let's start. First thing first, let's mark them. Alright okay, guys, now let's connect the cables to these first. Black for minus. There we go. That's good enough, I think. Now the red. Do this. Power supply will be here. And then I also need to put my button over here. So green will be connected to the red, black connected to the ground. On that, not on that, on this actually which I put some cables here, you see? It's just connected cable, nothing special in there. And, and then this will be here, hopefully, like this. And this side, basically somewhere over here, I don't know, anywhere really, okay. So I made the connections. Yellow is nothing really. Legs are ground. I connect these together so it works for testing and it did. This is the switch part so it actually lights up the button as well. And then this is power which is gonna go to the Arduino. And that, this, is actually coming from this source. So this is the power coming from uh, directly from the plug goes into the button until it switches off. It, when this is switched on, then it releases the power from this side, coming from this end. So this, now I'm gonna connect this one to that. So this will have five watt.
Okay, first thing first, I'm gonna think connect the cable to this, and then I will connect this to the cable because that is thinner than this cable, so it's causing me problems. And hopefully, I will solve the issue. So, let's go. Did it work? Did it work? I think it did. Now we have power. Okay, if I cut this off like that, I left this flat part, I will end up with a decent cable here and try it home. That's a good thing. I'll try whatever you want, guys. Don't kill yourself. Then. Okay. I'm covering the cable with this beautiful liquid, kind of a metal liquid. Now I'm going to connect this to that. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So now we have 5 watt. I agree, it looks a little bit uglier. But not much of an option, guys. So if I connect this, okay, that's long enough. Beautiful. Okay. One problem solved. Now, I'll care about these later on. These are all for the pins. Uh, for the, these, most of these gonna be for the LEDs. These gonna be for the buttons. And some of them will be here, as you will see in the diagram that I made. Okay. Hmm. I'm actually thinking to use this system for all of this to create a ground surface. I think that would be brilliant. Um, this though need another connection. Okay, let's do that guys. Let's do the ooh, this is not ooh, this is not that bad actually. It can't even bend. Right. The color doesn't matter. Why? Because I'm gonna get rid of the whole thing anyway. Well, I laser cut some rings, I guess. Um, for my buttons so I uh, think show you over here right these are the buttons obviously so I was planning to use these as buttons however um, I will still use it but I changed the tactic a bit because this will not be very strong so instead I will glue these on top like this right and that will be inside of that over here and I will glue something on top of this, which will hopefully work. Much solid.
I'm gonna be done. So before I go home, I actually wanted to paint this wood parts, MDF parts at least. So here, what I did so far for these two, and I'm gonna be doing this one now to show you. Now, how am I gonna do that to the top part is a mystery at the moment. And I will be probably doing it later on. Uh, but it will be covered with the same color as well. So it's like a you know wood color, dark wood color. Um, so let's start and you see. Um, I was doing something very silly, I guess, apparently, to extending these. These are going to be ground, but I have been told that I actually can connect these together and then one goes to the board instead, which I will tell on that because otherwise it's going to be a mess with so many cables. So let's start. Okay, time to connect uh, the one of, at least one of the, the scoreboard LEDs to the board and then I want to test it actually. So uh, let's start with connecting data and then grab ground and then 5 volt and then, and then give power to see if, and if, if that is going to do anything at all. So let's start. Okay, 
I decided to put one of these buttons over here like this, as is, to inside like this. So this will be covered with uh, with a poly wood, like three, four ml, uh, three, four millimeter thickness. So it's easy. I'm just gonna screw it basically to the to these sides over here. And this, I can carve this area, put this kind of inside of it, you know. And then this can go to that again, and this will be the surprise button that I'm thinking of making. So let's start doing. consideration I changed my mind again because this is not gonna work like this because of this like I mean it might work but half of this button is like empty so when if somebody press it very hard it might just like damage so I'm thinking to just like put it like this and get rid of that just maybe have some cable allowance in there to have the cables out and that's it I think it should work so let's clean that part Okay, soldering is over. I think this will, well, I hope, this will be the last thing that I have soldered after this. Now the next thing is, um, I think I need to update the code because I didn't put the button to the correct pin. Once I'm done with that, I will upload the code and test the buttons. So, um, I need to make a handle, which I bought kind of a guitar, guitar strap um, so once that I, when I receive that, I will just drill holes to the sides, put some sort of bolt in there, and just that will be it basically, hopefully. I need to glue the top part, but that is going to be the last thing I want to do because once it's done, there is no way that I can actually remove that, anything. I need to laser cut the sticky paper to kind of put, put some labels to the score sets, game sets, parts. And I need to close the back behind the panel, which I am t thinking for using a polywood, two, three millimeter poly. However, I might run out of, uh, in here, I might run out of the polywood. So I might actually use acrylic sheet instead, which will be do doing the same thing really. I need to put the aluminum covers, but I think also I one of, one of I, I was thinking to do that last. However, I thinking now I think I can um, just glue this thing, glue the button, and then I can just put the aluminum to the sides. Uh, so plenty more to go to be fair. So, but I'm hoping maybe next week is the end of this project. It's been four months for five months, obviously not full time, but still it's a long time to make a project and everything is working as is how I want it to, be, to, to work basically. Let's start working on it now. Ok, 
okay, time to put some stickers on. So I prepared the board over there, uh, scoreboard, and now I'm gonna create the files uh, and then send it to the printer behind, uh, laser cut behind me. Um, so let's start. So the stickers are done and now the next is as it's almost done completed i think it's ready to be connected so i will make the holes in here glue this to that so it will be one piece as you can see i just painted over this as well um, i'm gonna sand this one more time and then put the same um, same chemical that i used um, on this same product that i use on this to that as well and then I will close the behind of it, which is, you can see, it's open. Um, so there is not much left to do, so let's get going. Okay, it's glued now, it's very stable as you can see, strong, sturdy. Now that's done, what's next is these, I basically bought a guitar strap, I think, and I found these beautiful metal things, which holding it perfectly, look at this, beautiful, and you can actually remove this as well by the way. So what I'm gonna do is make some holes over here and the other side so that will be that i also obviously need to shorten this up a bit because this is obviously too much long but that's very easy to do let's start to cut these the corners to the angle of around 45 degrees i will be using a saw so i will be manually cutting this so hopefully i can get the correct angle let's go about this short that is first mistake second mistake i cut it very not very straight 
So it, that's easier to fix though. I can cut it again to, you know, perfectly make its shape uh, perfectly aligned. Now, because of these differences, as you can see over here, so if I put it here like this, right? The bottom part has gap, and that's gonna, that's bothering me. So what I'm gonna be doing is something very interesting, actually. So I'm gonna cut this to three pieces. Uh, so equal, equal measurement to the top and bottom, and the middle part, I'm gonna use some sort of wood and I'm gonna carve MSVC on top of it. And I think that will look amazing anyway. And then I will spray paint these to black, matte black. So it's not gonna show the scratch marks because there are marks over this. So it's not, it's, at the moment it's not, it doesn't look good. Um, a little bit extra work, but I think it's kind of worth it. So let's start. So let's paint them. cable the adapter that's gonna provide energy for this they requested kind of a box in there to to put the cables in so that's what you're gonna do I have some progress. I made this box over here, closed. It's fairly simple box. Um, now, what we're gonna do is to cover this. So I have this board over here, painted to this side. Same paints, really. And then I have marks over here. So I will be cutting and making a hole to put that on top of that. After that, as you see, I painted these already, it's done. I'll glue these. To the front part of that and we continue to the progress. of work hard work it is complete finally and it works perfectly fine so here how it looks like at the moment <laughs> 